Nigel is here with his cute little snowmobile and I'm totally ready. Totally didn't just crawl out of bed or anything. I'm gonna go find pants. <laughs> what are we doing today? We're gonna cut the sled in half. We're gonna cut this Polaris in half. Boy, some warranty. We've never, I've never done one of these tunnel cuts before. I know you haven't either. Nope. I said it'd be a fun project. This is gonna be a fun project. What kit are we putting in? Um, Mountain Tech. Mountain Tech. <laughs> I remembered. <laughs> you get to do the cutting, not me. Okay. How much are we cutting off? Seven inches. Seven inches! This thing's still too shiny. You're protecting that tunnel. Where are the bolts at? What bolts? No bolts. I can't wait to see you dice this up. Can't wait to see how crooked <laughs> you can get. I've never actually heard anything bad about that kit. I've heard a lot of speculation. I know that when you hit the forums, that's all it is. It's yeah. Like, well, what if you hit it and then it pops out? And I've never really read anything bad, but everybody, yeah. There's a first time for everything. Yeah. <laughs> we'll let you guys know how this tunnel cut goes. Is that a sharp bit? Eventually we'll burn it off. Could come through the top now. You can do whatever you want, but there's no turning back after this one. You know what I could? I'm going through the top. <laughs> Why am I gonna let it rain on me? You don't need to. Ah! You don't want a bubble gum flip on the back of this thing? No. I'm just gonna eyeball it down. Eyeball it? Yeah. That's a nice straight line you got there. It'll be really easy when uh, you got to figure out which uh, line you got to follow over professional. there. Real professionals. Well, where's your tape line? Don't give a fuck. You gonna get practice up with you that thing? Get your fingers in the way here? No, not really. Just start with the tabs. You should cut off the piece you're sitting on. This? Sit on this. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Wiley Coyote. Fucking, let's see what happens here. You worried? Yep. Why? <laughs> See what Cut of, it! See what kind of Cut it! Out. <laughs> there, it's off! <laughs> thing works better. That, that works better, yeah. <laughs> Screw that little precise stuff. We need the big Benjamin tools. <laughs> Just hammer through it. Hammer through, okay. hammer down. Worry about uh, a bunch of coolant in the face? Oh yeah. All righty, here it comes. This is what we're using. It's just black RTV, huh? That's it. Black RTV. Yeah, you got her nice and cleaned up here. Starting to look good. And custom crescent cut. Custom crescent cut. Yeah, perfect. It's I was wondering if it was 3D printed. You can see the lines. It's yeah. 3D printed. Yeah, it is 3D printed. Okay. Technology. Techno we could have built our own. <laughs> We're gonna read some instructions here, guys. Okay. Like even using this on drywall. Or... Is it super sharp? <laughs> That's working fine. What, working are, what are you laughing at? What are you laughing at? Putting black things in dark spots. Can't see what I'm doing without a flashlight. You want a flashlight? <laughs> Is that better? Yeah. Is it? Wish. Beauty. Okay, and then you're gonna take my special set of pliers. Put the clamps on! Clamps! Give them the clamps! Oh, there's parts here on the garage floor. Or what do you got for us today? Oh, tune. The can! This is the quiet can. I don't know anybody who runs one of these, so I'm curious to see what kind of noise it makes. Well, hopefully not a lot. Install takes three seconds. You gonna put your sensor back in or no? Nah. Nah. Give it a cleaning product. Just to give it a wipe. I got a wrench. It doesn't help me. <laughs> well, <laughs> tighten your thing. <laughs> no. <laughs> We've returned after a week to let our stuff set up here. Silicone set up. We're gonna try bleeding her. Is it cold? Cause we can start it up now. No, sir, not a link. Not a leak. I like. No, sir. Take t uh, take two. Take two. No, sir, not a leak on there. We're gonna put coolant in this, and it's just gonna pour all over the floor because we didn't go through the whole thing. What do you mean? We did a good job. 
Oh, I don't know. Your tunnel's getting scratched up. Oh, ah. God, restart. I like the uh, I like the clean look of everything. Hey, are you having problems? Should I grab it? Should I buy a pneumatic you know I mean? riveter? Oh, that'd be nice. <laughs> that'd be good. I've had a couple people complaining about my rivet job. Well, not even complaining about my rivet jobs, just the fact I don't have a pneumatic one. <laughs> that was the last one. That's it. Woo. You have short tunnel now. Let's see. So we took off six inches. Technically six because it's. Seven. Or seven. We cut seven. seven. Yeah, Ended that's what it was. Seven. Ended up with six inches shorter. That's a good size. Now that we have the skid in the alpha again, uh, we can actually compare it. So your yeah, it does stick out quite a bit further past your bumper, which is fine because mine. Oh boy, yeah, the alpha <laughs> sticks out is a little more aggressive than that. Yours is a good size. First lift on the bumper though. First lift on the bumper after the tunnel cut, and she falls apart. I always forget how light these things are. <laughs> oh yeah, you gotta have that. Yeah, well, I'll, figure, I'll figure that out. Yeah, well, I'm not even gonna point it out. What? I'm not gonna point it out. What? I'm doing the walk by. Do you want me to point out the little thing or not? What thing? Just that. that just thing? that edge. Yeah, this? we just gotta shave off. Just go like that. I wouldn't even do that. No. I would just round it off. We'd just go whoop. We can make it a hoop. That's what I would do. That's Way less work. I don't know. Everything got put away already. <laughs> So, what do you say for this install? What do you like? A scale one to ten for difficultness? It wasn't difficult, but it took us some time. It took us. We probably have six hours into it or more. But we also. First time we've done it. Yeah, we've never done it before. We were just screwing around. Yeah. Honestly. It turned on a scale of one to ten for difficulty. Four. You think I'd uh, are that low? I'd go a little higher because I'm going to go six on it. Five. Five or six. I'm going to 5.8. Five. I'm going to five or six for scale of difficulty just because there is a bunch of cutting and you do have to remove your gas tank and then you got to bleed your coolant when you're done. No, I, hey, there was a lot of steps I forgot about. There was a lot of steps. So I give it a five or a six. You can do it at home if you give yourself enough time and make sure you're doing it right. It's not that difficult to do. Or Matt will do it for you. Or I'll do it for you now that we know how to do them and the first one turned out great. It doesn't look terrible, does it? No, it looks good. I like that bumper, that skin's bumper you have on there. I think it looks sick. Yeah, it fits really well with that. Mm -hmm.